Hello, everybody, and happy 2021. Your Great Falls Public Library has surprise slime making kits for you to pick up in the kids place this January and February. This is a project that is safe for kids three and up. It's just really important that we don't put it in our mouth because of course it's not a food. The kits look like this and they have everything that you need to make two batches of this surprise color glitter slime as well as the jars to store your slime in. So before we get started, I do want to warn you expert slime makers out there that this is a very basic slime. So feel free to pick up the kit and to use it in your favorite slime recipe. The reason we chose this slime recipe is because it uses boric acid from contact solution as the activator. And so we don't have to mess with anything that might be harsh on our hands. Um, if you have any concerns though, definitely still wear gloves. I have made this slime with hundreds of kids at the library. Um, it very rarely causes a problem for anybody. Um, usually if it does um, cause a little bit of stinging, it's because somebody had a cut or abrasion on their hand. Um, so you might want to wear gloves if you have a cut. Um, also, you definitely want to protect um, your clothing and your surfaces because the slime can stain. All right. Let's make it. Let's take a look at what's inside our slime making kit. Inside our kit, we have two jars of surprise color clear glue, two holographic envelopes of surprise color glitter. And these are already mixed with the baking soda. This is a tiny dropper bottle of contact solution with boric acid. You twist off the top and you see it has a little eyedropper. A spoon, of course, to mix, and a copy of the slime making instructions. Let's get started. Let's open up our jar of glue and see what color we got. Ooh, look, it's green. If you're making your slime without a slime kit, this is just clear PVA glue like Elmer's or a generic um, with some food coloring added. And this is a quarter cup in the little blue jar and it, it will serve for our mixing and also for storing our slime. And now we're going to open up the holographic envelope and find out what color glitter we have. In this envelope, we have a quarter teaspoon of microfine glitter and a quarter teaspoon of, um, of baking soda. And those are already mixed together. Let's open it up and see what color we've got. Ooh, guys, it's white iridescent. That's gonna look awesome. So now we need to mix all of that glitter and baking soda into our glue. And we wanna make sure we mix it up really, really, really well. And mix it and mix it and mix. And mix and mix and mix and mix. Stir, 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 stir. Great, now that our glue is all mixed up with that glitter and the baking soda, let's add our contact solution. This is contact solution with, um, with boric acid. Um, and this little bottle is actually enough for three batches of slime this size. So we are going to put one teaspoon of this contact solution in here. So that's a third of the bottle and you can count to 100 because it's about 100 drops. Here we go. And we're going to mix it up with this spoon. Look, it's getting slimy, it's coming together. And then, 
we'll pull it out of the jar and mix it with our hands. So mine is still a little bit sticky, so I'm going to add a little bit more contact solution. And there we go, it's getting less sticky. All right. Isn't that awesome? And that is how you make surprise color glitter slime. Pick up a kit from your Great Falls Public Library um, this January and February while our supplies last or make it from supplies you have at home. Thanks for joining us guys. Happy New Year. Bye bye.